Hey everyone, Axon Ronder here, and welcome back to another episode of Fantasy Life. Where last left off, we were continuing with the blacksmith story. Story? 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 We are continuing with the blacksmith story, and I'm not gonna lie to you, we've just been talking to a lot of people trying to get a sword for this young lady's brother. And right now, we're gonna go talk to his grandfather, because he knows a little thing or two about a thing or two was a sword. We gotta figure out what that is. Oh, look, someone's singing. Thank you, you're all so sweet. That was a little song I called The Iron Smith of My Heart. Oh, not, the irony in that. I didn't mean to say that, too. Fred, that does it for me, folks. Y'all make sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of your stay. Strange, I don't see Grandpa anywhere. Hello, Magmia. Sorry, but, this old, but the old man isn't here. Huh? Really? It was the strangest thing. He took off right in the middle of Harmony's set. That's not like him at all. He's her number one fan. <laughs> Tell me about it. Most of the time I can't get him out of here. But today he didn't look up at the stage even once. Just kept on reading some letter. Letter? Axon, do you think Iggy managed to give his letter to Grandpa? Uh, uh, oh. Search for st Oh, okay. Okay, we're... I wasn't expecting to <laughs> just to cut right there. Okay, let's go find Steel. I'm worried, Axon. It's unusually much easier to keep track of Grandpa. He's ordinary, but he's pra but he's predictable. But I have no clue where he could be right now. I hope he's okay. And we really need to ask him about the red ingots. Eh, what gives? Where's this heat coming from? I, I, f I think it's getting closer. A fine blade. A fine blade burns with power even away from the forge. Legendary Ironsmith saying number 42. Patent pending. Nice. What? Trouble crafting a sword, eh? I can tell. I have I have a sixth sense about metal. I'm telepath... I'm telepathetic. Or telepathic. Um, you wouldn't happen to be the legendary Ironsmith, would you? Is, is that what Axton is probably wondering? No, I'm wondering why your grandfather is dressing up as... Oh, that. You are correct. I am indeed... The legendary ironsmith in the flesh. You're older than I thought you'd be. Is that what Axton's probably thinking? Hey, a legend ain't, de ain't defined by his age, you know. <clears throat> I sense that you're both seeking the knowledge to craft red ingots. Y yes, that's right. I can give you that knowledge. However, it will take about a year to master. And you two are in a rush, are you not? Yes, we are. We need a gift. We need a gift for my brother. And it's his hundredth day as a paladin, you see. Hmm. In truth, I possess a faster method of creating red ingots. Hand me those ingots you have in your bag there. Hand over bronze ingots times two. Hmm, yes, good thickness. Now watch out, you're about to see a legendary amount of sparks. When one seeks perfection, one must listen to the metal and understand the shape it wants to become. Legendary Ironsmith number 17. Pat pending. <laughs> now witness as I pour my legendary power into this impressive display of pure smithing mastery. Behold, the bronze ingots are transformed into red ingots. Nice. I, I, I kind of lost what he was doing there. How, how did you... That was amazing. Not just amazing. Ironsmith's amazing. Uh, pen, pending. Here you are. Take them. Now I'll wait with you. With that, you shall forge a custom sword lighter than air itself. Although it won't be easy, especially for one day on the job, Greenhorn Blacksmith. Yeah, I'm talking about you. That last part was oddly specific. How do you know Axon's story? Uh, I, well, I'm a legendary ironsmith. I, I I just know these things. Right, of course. Uh, he's pretty flexible if he's able to lift himself with one leg. And off. Ironsmith uh, away. Yeah, ironsmith away. Pet -pet hey, he dropped something. It looks like a letter. Guess he dropped it when he was hammering away like a maniac. Legendary maniac, I mean. Must have slipped out of his costume, or er, work outfit. I mean, legendary work outfit. Yep, legendary work outfit. Right down to the real legendary hammer and the real legendary beard. Say, do you guys get the feeling there's more to that legendary old guy that meets the eye? Hold on a sec, this letter. It's Ignat, it's a uh, Ignis. Ignatus letter? Yeah, it, it's, it's Ignatus, I can't say his name. Ignatus's letter to Grandpa. 
Why in the world would the legendary ironsmith have Ig Iggy's letter to Grandpa? There's no doubt what you're thinking, Axon. Don't don't think for me. Sometimes I can't even think for myself. I think we kind of need to. I think we kind of need to read it. You know, for investigative purposes. Here he goes. Dear Grandpa, I'm really sorry about not becoming a blacksmith like you wanted me to. I know we're not on good terms, but I can't help thinking about all the things you taught me. You once told me fear leads, not what fear leads to, fear led. Yeah, fear led. <laughs> you once told me to fear leads to failure. To be honest, not a day goes by on, not a day goes by when I'm not thinking of some ways I might fail. Some of the ways I might not fail, like some ways I'm failing to read this. But when I consider how strong and committed you are to work and family, I'm able to keep going. I know you're really angry that I quit right in the middle of my blacksmith training. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I'm kind of shocked about myself, about it myself, but it was something I felt I had to do. I'm a paladin now, and I'm going to do this job the way you would do it, by giving it all I got. I won't stop at 100 days. I'll keep at it for a gazillion days and beyond. I see how much you achieved as a blacksmith, and I want to do the same thing for myself as a paladin. These are my honest feelings, Grandpa. I hope you can forgive me, and I do hope you read this letter. Your grandson, Ignatius. Somehow Miggy must, Iggy must have gotten his letter to Grandpa's hands. Grandpa must have read it and had a change of heart, but he's so stubborn he couldn't just admit he was wrong. That's why he dressed up like, no, never mind. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Anyways, looks like we have, we got some work to do. We should head back to Vulcan's workshop. I don't want to get in this. I don't want to get in the way, so I'll, I'll be waiting back at my place. i will adjust my mic slightly to the left. Where did Biff go? Was he? Oh, I guess he was. Uh, I don't know where Biff went. Okay. Oh, what was that? Can I read this? Is an unfinished drawing of an umbrella. Yeah, sure. Okay. Alrighty. Let's head back to the workshop and see what we can do from there. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think from here we're gonna start exploring to see what we can make from the blacksmith set because. Like I mentioned before, we're going to be seeing a lot of stuff that's going to open up to us from armors, weapons, and tools. And I should start really investing into bronze tools for what we have already accomplished. Like the, was it the miners one, the wood cutting, and then get myself an iron hammer for blacksmithing. It will really help us out when we're trying to like harvest stuff. Oh, how'd it go? That's the recipe you got there? Why was this commission? Why was this commission again? Something about a hundred or something? I'll tell you, this ain't simple as turning an ingot into a weapon. It's a wee bit trickier than that. To start, you'll have to learn basic weapon smithing. And don't go getting off forged face like if you mess up. Nice, now we know weapon smithing. Yes. Mistakes be embarrassing, true. But power through it. Freya, break it down for lad. Yeah, I figured as much. All right, all right. Allow me to explain. We'll consider this exercise part of your blacksmith qualification test. I know you're probably really nervous, but don't sweat it. Just put your back into it. Don't worry, Axon. Just relax. Relax, but make sure you beat the devil out of it. Nice. This is the blacksmith's workshop. So we're going to craft. I know what's interesting is that even when you're crafting, it's like a boss... Uh, like certain boss fights and this is considered like a boss uh, like a little boss fight you can see it's a leg it's a rare rarity three requires two red ingots and animal hide and I don't think you could fail this but I I'm not gonna try to fail it let's see how well it goes oh here's the music bam 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 that okay don't expect to be like perfect on this because it's n like it probably won't go... No, no, no. It probably won't go well the first time. Just do your best on it. Oh, we got a grade on that one. Okay, cool. Normally, like, it takes, like... There's, like, several steps because you'll finish one section and it'll go, like, 20 to 40, 60, 80, 100. So, just, like, make sure you keep an eye on the timer and keep an eye on what you're doing at the same time so it doesn't mess up on you. And we got a sword. I didn't even see that. You did it? Let me have a look. Huh, this is better than so-so. It's borderline okay. Ooh, you made an okay sword. Congrats, Axton. 
Sorry to barge in, but I was getting anxious. So how's the sword? How's the sword? Have a look at it. You mean you did it? It's done? You're darn right. The first custom bronze sword ever made in this workshop. Hand over the custom bronze sword. You're amazing. Thank you very much. I bet Iggy will be more motivated than ever to keep up with his training. Hey, mind if an old man butts in real quick? Oh, oh hey, look. Grandpa. Well, well, old man steal himself. Coming to complain about us up a storm, have you? Let me have a look at that sword. Grandpa, you have a funny look in your eye, but okay. Oh my goodness, he's beating the living crap out of the sword. What are you doing? We went through all that trouble. Stop it right now. You'll ruin it. Knock it off, you nutty old man. There we go. Adjusted the hilt for better grip and narrowed the blade for better balance. Oh my gosh. Now that's the Grandpa Iggy I know and love. Reminds me of when you used to show Iggy how to use a hammer. So, Grandpa, I guess you'll forgive an Iggy? What? Who said anything about that? I won't forgive him until he makes it to a gazillion. The family reputation rests on it. I think it's about as cooperative as he's going to get. Mm, this is one well-crafted sword. Listen here, Axon. Fear of failure leads to failure. What? Fear of failure leads to failure. Remember that. You've still got a long way to go, but I like the swing of your hammer, kid. Still, you can't just make weapons all day. Let me show you how to make some armor. Oh, nice! If you need me, I'll be at the crown. And off. Iron Smither, Grandpa away! Yep, Grandpa away. Bye. Well, he's got some spunk to him, Steph. Grandpa away? Why does that sound like the legendary Iron Smith? Is what Axton is thinking, I bet. Nice. Thank you so much for all your help. My brother is going to be so happy. Oh, before I forget, here's your payment. 500 dosh! Looks like we're making some decent amount of money from this. And a little good song to play it off too. Nice. I'm off to the castle to give Iggy his present. He will celebrate his 100th day in style thanks to you. Um, Magmia away. I don't know why the 100th day is so important, but I'm happy it all worked out. Oh, that's, uh, cool. <laughs> see what Vulcan has to say. Okay, come here. Let's see how much you feared. Fart. Something. Ready your hammer. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we readied our hammer. What did we else do we do? We talked to a lot of people. That's what I'm going to put there on the bottom. Talk to a lot of people. Exactly. And we got ourselves a new life as a blacksmith. We're now fledging me. And we got life bonuses. Vitality plus two and focus plus one. Perfect. Especially what we're going to be crafting. And we learned new fledging level crafts. I want to check these out before anything else. I think this hacks, this uh, allows us to do all bronze stuff. From this day forward, you're a full-fledged power man. No, pa blacksmith. What you're wanting to do now is complete life challenges to earn stars. You'll rack up quite a few stars if you continue. Yeah, yes, we know about this. Stars. We need the stars. If you keep earning stars, your blacksmith licenses will rank up. As you rank up, you also learn lots of new recipes and perhaps a new techniques from time to time. Keep earning them stars and check with me as you do. I'll take a look at the number of stars you've earned. And if you ever get enough, we'll level you right up. Okay, one last thing. Wouldn't be too much of a blacksmith if I couldn't make your own tools. Oh, nice! So we got metal smithing. I thought that was the tool smithing. You're my pupil now, so work hard to move past so so lad. And don't go giving up on the hammer. Wouldn't want to make you cry. <laughs> well, not gonna lie to you. After this, I may take a break from getting all these lives. Having three lives back. Well, how many lives did we do back to back? That was six. Nice. I think we did two lives back to back, which was the blacksmith, the was it the miner and the blacksmithing. So I think we're gonna hold off on that one for now, and we're gonna start doing butterflies uh, quests. But first, I want to see what these um, crafts are available to us. Let's see what we got. Select the craft. We got bronze ingot, bronze dagger. I'm falling from my chair again. Bronze sword, bronze clay. This is actually a really good weapon to have, uh, especially if you're doing the hunters. Uh, big swords really help out with dealing with monsters. I know you can you, you can use sword and shields, which is not bad, but like if you want to do some extra damages, claymores is what you really should be focusing on. 
You got your bronze hammer, pickaxes, oak beam. Oof, okay. You see, this is where you have to do a carpenter to get certain items. Straw thread, woven straw fabric. Frying pan, this is where you're going to be using for cooking. We're not there yet, but this is a possible... Ah, look at this. Fabric for a frying pan? Huh. Straw thread, that's for the sewing. Pickaxes, you know what that is. And the hammer, we definitely need these in the future. Bronze shield is something to also consider, because we, have, we don't have a shield yet at all. Oh, and this is the leather stuff that we're going to need... So we're going to need some animal hides, animal claws, dandelion cottons. I know there was a weird way of getting dandelion cottons. I know we're going to have to probably make that. I don't know if that's beginner crafts or that's something a little bit more advanced. I don't, I don't know if you can buy that too. I think you can, but it's pretty expensive. Animal hides. Animal hides we're going to get for like slain monsters. Animal claws the same way too. I think animal claws you have to get from like big monsters. Hmm. Okay. I'll take a little, I'll take a look at that a little bit later, in more detail. Maybe I'll plan something more. Now, before we talk to these guys, there's something I want to check out first. We've been doing a lot of little side quests. Well, a lot of little quests regarding uh, the separate lives we've been doing, and I want to see how much bliss we've accumulated over time because I think we should have gone a good chunk. Did we finish your quest? No, no. Okay, no, we did not. We're nowhere near finishing that quest. So I want to see, I want to check in with Butterfly, and then I want to see what kind of little things we have to do for her quests. Or should I wait on this? Hmm, Let, let's just see. Hey, Axton, what's up? Bliss check. Let's check your bliss. Learn about Doomstone. Ooh, nice. Blacksmith, apprentice woodcutter, and started a new life as a miner. Yay, we got our bliss bonus. Okay, let's see what we got open for us. Bigger bag? That doesn't sound too... Oh, no, we have that already. An even bigger bag? That's not nothing to sneeze at. Bigger storage. Um, Life with more pets. Give us a pet and you'll be able to get two, keep two pets. Your room will get even more lively. That's not bad to have. Horse riding, uh, this is not bad to have either, as if you like the audio. I know the audio in this game is fantastic, but it's like, that's if you want to use it. Hairdressing, eh, I mean, if you want to. Shopping Plus, I haven't gone to the stores at all. Hmm. I think for now we're going to stick with bigger storage, because I know we're going to get to a point where we're just going to be carrying a lot of crap. You can't go wrong with a storage expansion. Store up to 500 items in the storage in the storage in your room. Storage, storage, and storage. <laughs> Alrighty, real quick, let's see what the quests are for Butterfly. History of Castell. What is that? Learn about Castell's history. I bet you can learn lots in the library. It's just outside the castle. A visit to the pet shop. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay, cool. Attic with a view. Pam said she wanted to talk with us. Ride like the wind. Apparently, there's somewhere in there's somewhere in South Castell where you can borrow a horse. Okay, we've seen that before. Pierre and Butch. Seems like we're going to lot. They usually loiter somewhere in Castell Square. The adventure continues. Did you know that grassy plains stretch far out to the west? Ooh, we can go to that. Let's go check that out. <laughs> completely miss, ev like skip everything else and be like, oh, we can go to the west? You know, I want to see that. I know we, we've been spending a way, way too much time here in... My nose is itching. We've been spending way too much time here in town. I want to go explore the little regions. I think we still have... No, no. I can't access my weapon yet because... Am I running yet? There we go. I can't access my weapon because we're not in the field yet. But let's see the west side. I wonder what's... I forgot what was there because I know there was. Hmm. I know there's a region that we're supposed to be careful in the beginning because, like, you can really get knocked out. But I don't remember if it was the left or the right. We'll try the west side and then we'll see what we can find on the right side. 
So you can see there's a lot of stuff. Very lively today. This is, no, this is the, the cave. A lot of bosses. So we can, oh yeah, so we can go over here. Nice. No, no, action button. Got some apples, heel weed, dandelion puffs. There's a body here. That's uh, an impression on the ground. It's in shape of a person. And this guy right here, this is an interesting fella. He sells you stuff, so... And he also tells you little stuff around, so like... A big stone fell down with a giant plush. Well, maybe not a plush, more like a giant bang. But that's the past plush. That was the past plush. Won't you squeak by something for the present plush? Sure. Was that, was that pun? I'll, I'll take a look. Honey, apples... I think this guy only sells you, like, stuff you can find literally outside. If you have the dosh for it, go for it. But, like, if you're hurting on it, you could see what... Uh, he has an offer, and you can just see what you can get. Really, it's easier for you just to go and... Uh, get it yourself. But if you find that you need more... Uh, materials, and you don't really want to farm it, and you have the money for it... Uh, go for it. I completely skipped his dialogue. Ooh. Oh boy, here we go. I forgot she talks about everything. <laughs> the West Grassy Plains, huh? Ah, the grass here just smells more Western than the India than the other plains. Good choice of words. Yikes, there's a little girl by herself over there. What? Excuse me, little girl, are you lost? It's dangerous for a little one like you to be all alone out here. Because I might get talked to death by a butterfly oh that's perfect <laughs> the only dangerous thing around here is my brother's breath after a round of onion munching that 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 could be yeah that could be bad too farley thinks he's just so cool because this is his farm when i grow up i'm gonna i'm gonna help him though i'm gonna put some of my veggies up on that sign uh, Cool. <laughs> Someday I'm gonna grow the radishes and the milk, the sheep. What? And milk the sheep and chickens too. Uh, sure. Oh, that's so adorable. So how? So do you have any big scary animals on your farm? I'm young, not dumb. You don't have to talk to me like that. S sorry, you're just so cute and little. Yeah, well, you're lucky I'm not talking to you like you're a teeny weeny itty bitty little butter. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. From the looks of you, you're all from Castell. Farley says that the city folk don't know how to do hard work. Well, I don't, I don't think that's really fair. Some people in the city work very hard. What would a butterfly know about hard work? Uh, I work very hard, flapping my wings constantly. It's, it's quite the workout. What's a workout? A way for you to get out of real work? Never mind. If you need any fresh veggies or fruits, you can get whatever you want from here. Oh, that's great. You're a very good salesperson. Have you ever thought about going into marketing? Yes, I go into market almost every day. I take eggs there too. We have some extra lying around though. You can take some if you want. That's so generous of you. Thank you. I want people to know how tasty our eggs are. It's my new plan. You eat them and they're so delicious that you tell your friends to buy some. That's really smart to rely on words of mouth. Eggs go in your mouth. Words come out. Here now. Go ahead and put these in your mouth. Oh, royal eggs. That's okay. Oh, cow. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were you were working. Thanks for your time. Time is all we have here. We'll see the cycle of seasons in our gardens. All of life is present for presented to us in the form of nourishment, or something like that. That's what Farley says. But most people just laugh at him. That all makes sense to me. I think you're a great. I think it's a great way to look at things. I guess, but looking at things doesn't bring in Dosh. Smart little girl. Say, if you're heading further onto the plains, you should probably take a look at your equipment. There's monsters out there. This isn't the East Grassy Plains, you know. Good luck, spread the word about our farm. Okay, so it's this side that I was worried about. Oof. Now my nose is getting stuffy. Oof. All right, let's take a look at this farm. Farmer. 
sheep. No, that's a goat. Stare into the eyes of the goat. <laughs> what little fishing spot we can do later. Farley's Plantation. Let's take a look at this place real quick. Oh, a bounty clerk. If you go over here... Ah, oh, this place is huge. I love this pond. Looks like the fish are pretty big here. I wonder if they're bigger than like the little average fishes we're gonna find when we start fishing or like they're gonna be... Because I know... I know this. I think I think there's like three levels of fishes. There's like small little... Small, medium, and large. And... Uh, each one of them like... Each one of them like has a different size of fishes. Of course. Oh, rainbow apples. Of course that's how it goes. But like I know sometimes... I don't remember if, like, sometimes the shadows will fool you. I forgot how the fishing goes, because I know, like, with the bosses, I think you can see, like, a piece of them popping out, like, a fin or some form of appendage. I'm not too sure. It's been a while since I've gone to the fishing portion of this game. I know that was probably the more... That was probably the more laid-back aspects of this game, because you were just fishing. That That's it. I'm taking everybody's stuff. I should be talking with them, but I'm just exploring for now because as soon as I start talking with them, uh, my time is going to go by stupid fast. Now, the little girl did say that there's going to be more trouble. Field frog. Oh, okay. I thought that was a boss or an enemy. I know the little girl said that there's going to be more trouble if I keep on going this way. So I want to see. Okay, I'm pretty sure they can beat me real easy. I know there's two paths that split here. Oh my goodness! No! Oh no! Okay, so we can understand why she was saying it was really dangerous. Keep running, don't stop running. Is that a snake? That's a snake turtle. That's a turtle snake. I don't know what that is. What is this? Port Puerto, Easy Grass Plains, and F Florina's house. Come full of bliss. Oh, is this the little house that. Okay, so if you ever wanted to... Actually, we're going to save right here. If you ever wanted to, like, uh, style your hair, and if you choose the the Bliss perk for it, this is where you usually come to, to get your uh, hair done, if you want to. I'm not too sure. I don't think she'll do anything. Yeah, she won't do anything right now because we don't have the, the perk, but you can talk with her if you do have it, and you'll be able to change your hair up. I think you could change more stuff, but I'm not, I'm not too sure how it goes on that one. Would you look at all this? Looks like we're right near the ocean, too. As, what's over here? Oh, yeah, we are near the ocean. Is that a friendly sea turtle? Or that's a evil sea turtle? Well, he's friendly as it is. So uh, I don't think we have to attack him or anything. What is that? A seashell? Seashell, seashell by the seashore. I think I said that right. <laughs> Little shell. Let's see what's over here. I know, like the the beach portion of you, you do go eventually to the beach in this game. What's cool about that is that like the port is just so beautiful, and the area around it, like where you usually go get the. Oh no, not him again. Like the like where you usually go get the materials. There's like a lot of stuff you can like play around with that area. I know there's like. A, like more caves I think you get interested to dungeons in that spot so that's pretty cool to take a look at I'm just running around like an idiot over here no 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 get the pine bo a bow Ooh. let's see what we got here and I can't use it cannot equip I think this is because we need to be a I think it's the hunter I think because I know it's the... For the Claymore, it's the Mercenary. And then for a Hunter, it's the Bow. Yeah, yeah. So if you're if we ever do the Mercenary... No, I'm sorry. If we ever do the Hunter, then that's the... We'll be able to equip the Bow. And that's not bad to have. A Pine Bow. That's really good. That's like the second level from Oak. No, no. Don't hit the sheep. Because I don't want him to hit me. <laughs> HP Potion. Black Wool Leaf, sorry. Let's see. Big beak egg, huh? Oh, is there something back over here? Oh no, it's just a heal weed. 
No, don't hit the rock. Ugh. I think that's about it for the... Uh oh Oh, I don't think they'll do anything. Okay, good. As long as you don't touch them, they won't touch you. I'm not too sure. I think over here, this is where we get to the next town. I know this... That's a... Uh... Is he friendly? No, he's most certainly not friendly. Oh, no. Seriously? <laughs> oh, is he... You're gonna have to help me with... <laughs> Uh, okay, good. Run, 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 run. Oh my goodness, he'll chase you. I Looks like I made myself set into the small predict. Yeah, okay, I'm, I think I really messed up here. And I'm also out of time. Oh no. Okay, so uh, I think next time I'll meet you back at uh, Castell. Like in the courtyard, and we'll continue doing uh, butterflies quests, and we'll see where. Oh, it's already, it's already evening. Wow, and we'll see where that takes us. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. I'm not stopping right at here right now. I'm stopping the episode. I'm not stopping moving because I'm not stopping moving because, like, every little thing is trying to hurt me, and I gotta get back. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time. And in the next episode, we'll continue with butterflies quests and get away from that guy. So, oh my goodness, there's more of them. Alright, see you all. Bye-bye.